Montana's Crown of the Continent, Glacier National Park, Part 2, Native and Invasive Species. Montana's Glacier National Park is home to an abundance of plants and animals, some species native and some species invasive. Plants and animals have been in the park area since hundreds of thousands of years ago. In the Crown of the Continent, there exists a mix of plants and animals from all over the greater northwest area. Prairie plants and animals from the east are present in the eastern side of the park, northern plants and animals are present in the northern part of the park, and western and southern plants and animals are present in the southwest part of the park. The plants migrated to the park according to the climactic zones, which there are three of. The west and northwest climactic zone is a cold zone, leading to colder plants such as spruce and fir living there, the southwest is a warmer climate leading to warmer plants such as red cedar and hemlock living there, and the eastern area is a drier climate leading to a mix of pine, spruce, aspen, and prairie plants. This pristine environment has barely lost any of its plants or animals over thousands of years, and the animals here are abundant. There are nine groups of animals in the park. Mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, insects, arachnids, invertebrates, and mollusks. Some animals are present throughout the whole park, while some are present in only select areas of the park. The birds group is the biggest animal group in the park, with an estimated 260 species, and a possible 10 more that can be found in the whole park. This group lives in all of the ecosystems in the park, and feeds on insects, arachnids, and invertebrates. The mammals group is the second biggest animal group in the park, with at least 80 animals known to be in it, but a possible 20 more thought to be in it that can be found in the whole park. These animals like living in forest or grassland ecosystems and feed on plants or animals. The insects group is the third biggest animal group in the park, with about 50 known members and an estimated 3 more that can be found in the whole park. This group lives in all the ecosystems in the park and feed on small organisms in the ground. The fish group is the fourth biggest animal group in the park, with an estimated 15 to 20 species in the group, and a possible five more that can be found in the whole park. The animals in this group live in water ecosystems and feed on algae. The arachnids group is the fifth biggest animal group in the park, with an estimated 10 members and a possible two more that can be found in the whole park. These animals live in any non-water ecosystem in the park and feed on insects. The other four groups have 21 members in total that can be found throughout the park and live in all the wet or moist ecosystems, primarily feeding on insects. Together, Glacier National Park is home to over 300 species of animals, but that can't compare to how many plants Glacier National Park has. The park is home to a staggering 1,132 species of plants, ranging from the smallest shrub to the biggest tree. The plant and animal species of Glacier National Park have been undisturbed for millennia, but with the appearance of settlers came the appearance of invasive species. There are currently around 50 invasive species of plants and animals in the park, the most destructive of which is the blister rust. Blister rust is an invasive fungus that grows on and kills whitebark pine trees. The whitebark pine is a coniferous tree which produces pine cones, which in turn become food for squirrels and bears. The blister rust fungus effectively gets rid of that food source. Not all the invasive species in the park are as bad as the blister fungus, but all of them make a difference. More changes were noticed in the environment of the park from the 1800s to now than up until the year 1800, due to people from all over the country coming to the area. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, if you enjoyed it, leave a like rating, favorite the video, or even subscribe. And if you want to see the ending to this mini-series, I will have it out by next Monday.